This is such a win, are you kidding me? <gasps> hey V Squad and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys some tips on how to literally become rich and adopt me. And this is like rich meaning pet wise if you guys want i can make a video on how to get rich meaning with money and adopt me so today we're going to be doing how to get rich with pets so let's say you have absolutely nothing in your inventory or your inventory looks like this and you obviously want some legendary pets so no problem i'm here to help so basically here's how to get an inventory looking like this also known as like the top part of my inventory meaning how to get legendary pets so if you guys know i gave away like most of my dot me pets for royal high stuff i kept my neon turtle and my neon giraffe and that was mainly it i didn't keep much else so, I'm going to tell you guys how to, you know, get rich. So, thing number one, do not, I repeat, do not buy these items from the shop. So, like, cars or pets, like a winged horse or the spaniel or the, well, the house actually, if you want the house, then you buy it or whatever, but, um, axolotl cobra like these are all so much robux so much robux so oh they didn't i was so sure they removed ride potions from the shop i guess they didn't but anyways here's how to this is, this is for if you have robux here's how to get rich super super easy buy don't buy fly potions they're overpriced buy ride potions they're gonna be your next favorite thing well, ride potions are literally amazing so why are they amazing because a ride potion is worth a legendary pet like a low slash lowish mid if you get lucky you can get like a lowish mid and honestly i used to trade ride potions for kangaroos and turtles back you know back when they weren't worth as much um but you can easily get a unicorn or a dragon for your ride potion and um you can get like all these expensive robux pets like Ki oh my god kitsune 100 percent you can get um don't get ultra rares do not accept ultra rares probably gonna be like oh my god they're giving me an ultra rare it's a don't even if it's a robux ultra rare don't unless they're giving you like a jungle egg ultra rare or a safari egg ultra rare then yeah hell yeah because it's worth legendary but trade your ride potions for legendaries it's literally it's gonna be your next new favorite thing so if you ever are doing a trade and you're not sure if it's fair or not look at the value it really helps so that's what i recommend and to prove my point later on in this vid i'll buy a ride potion specifically for this and i will go and show you guys what i get offered for it but next thing to get rich if you don't have robux is really each get hatch, uh, hatch eggs and make neons and when you make neons you'll get more money to buy more eggs and hatch them so for example um yesterday i hatched uh well i traded it but i hatched that maneki neku cat out of a japan egg so let's say i buy like you're gonna need a lot of japan eggs to hatch four legendaries but if you buy a lot of japan eggs and for example hatch four legendaries even if they're different let's say you want to make Let's say, let's say you hatch three Maninekus and a one Baku, or three Bakus and one Maninekus. I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. But um, trade to get four of it, then make a Neon, and then boof, boom, you have a Neon Legendary. Did I say boof? Boom, you have a Neon Legendary. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, if you get bad luck with hatching Legendaries, is to make Neon Ultra Rares, because I know that everyone gets ultra rares okay and if you have such bad luck with getting even ultra rares and just make neon rares neon even just neon pets i would tend to stay away from commons because you know they're commons but like neon rares and neon ultra rares that's great I'll t stay away from neon making neon uncommons and comments unless it's a rare uncommon or common but rares and 
like stuff like that yeah make neons of those um so yeah that's what i recommend personally but yeah there's that you know one time i was playing recently it wasn't recently it was bef- it was they could adopt me and someone pe- someone was hatching hatched a safari egg and they hatched a giraffe and I- and that was like when imagine hatching a no potion giraffe like imagine but that's really weird. but anyways that's like that's a great way to get rich getting a bunch of, of one pet and then making it neon and then trading it for more pets um megas are also a thing but mega is 16 16 of one pet that's gonna take you a really long time to make so if you want to make a mega i would highly recommend to just not make neons and trade for neons speaking of trading for neons another great way to get rich is to make a neon but this is if you have a lot of time on your hands so online school because if you have online school then yes you do have a lot of time on your hands because you could just do it during school but i don't do online school so you can just make a neon and trade it for you know trade it trade it for four of the same pet plus gray ads if you make i think yeah i think one time it was it was one of the i'm not sure which one it was but i made a neon king b people were that lazy i think i traded the neon king b for like six or seven king bees i don't know but it was crazy i think oh i think it was a dodo but it was one of another legendary is i had a neon legendary and i traded it for eight i think it was a dodo i think i traded a neon dodo for eight dodos are you kidding me guys that's that's two neon dodos although as i said you do need to have a lot of time on your hands to make them neon but that's a great way to get rich it it, it is time consuming it will take a lot of time but that's a really great way to get rich. So actually, I'm going to leave right now and I'm going to attempt to join a rich server while I talk about some, you know, more ways to get rich. Um, if you really have bad luck and you want to get and you have a lot of like bucks and adopt me, a great way to get rich is saving up your money and buying not one, not two, but buying like quite a bit royal eggs. Nine would be a good amount and um just hatching them also if you don't have a lot of money you can this is a kind of a risky but you can try trading one legendary pet for nine japan eggs most likely you will hatch a low tier legendary guys a really low tier like a dragon or a unicorn most likely you will hatch a legendary out of the japan eggs you might not so there's that but if you do then that's a great deal because you basically trade one legendary for another legendary plus a bunch of other pets and you might even hatch you know more than one legendary like that would be great so i'm gonna get to a rich server buy a ride potion and show you guys the offers i get trading oh i already got one already got a trade okay okay so toy monkey ultra rare um yeah See, this is an ultra rare. This is what we shouldn't do. Even if someone would probably give a legendary for it, I can't. I wouldn't really say that it's worth. Okay, golden griffin. So yeah, this would have been a good trade if you were making any on golden griffin. Actually, I have two. So that's an okay offer. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good offer. Let's see what else we could. For a second, I thought her av- I, thought she- I thought she had the same avatar as me. Trading nine. Okay. Okay. So I have this one. She's trading nine legendaries. I gotta see this. This is what I mean. Okay, I'll trade her again. I didn't know which one she wanted. Okay, then neon dodo. I guess. She's trading nine legendaries, so that'll be interesting. I wonder which ones. I have a lot of neon legendaries. Which one does she want to offer for? I like these. Okay. 
she wants a neon this one I don't care how people want neon fly ride I don't I don't get how people care like if it's fly ride or not Definitely not gonna offer my neon giraffe. That's not the trade. Seems like a turtle. I'm just curious on what she'll offer. Cause this is what I mean. Nine legendaries for a neon legendary. Um, I don't get how people care. Okay. Honestly, I hate doing this, but I'm nobody's noticing, so we're just gonna spam. Right. Um, no, no, actually, I think it's happening. I what offers I can get, you know? So if someone offers you a ride, a bit for a ride, which my bit for a ride, which dragonfly in the spot spot. I'm gonna just trade her because I don't get what she's saying. Oh, 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 okay, that is actually a really good offer. We're getting a legendary pet, a rideable ultra rare, um, Halloween comic pet, and a monkey cobble stick. Oh, and dog rattle, that's a little bit weird. And a virus, I'm not sure. Cobble stick. Oh, and I don't know what's also a little bit weird. And a tiny polish. And you. Do some instead of a plushie. Because I might actually do this. This is such a really, really good Like a ride of an ultra rare. In a legendary. So this is what I mean by offers you can get. I cannot leave it. So instead of a tiger. Instead of a tiger. Go 
for this because when I keep it up for the regular student fossil, I remove the fossil, I can't throw the regular ginger. Maybe if I just put the fossil, I can get just a little more. I'm sorry that I kind of switched to trading in this and if you guys want me I will make just a trading in rich servers video if you guys want so anyways that is my like what four tips on how to get rich I can give about four tips maybe five tips I'm gonna I don't remember how many tips I gave so I'm gonna title this video five tips five ways to get rich or should I title this how to get up uh, we'll see <laughs> That was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and yeah. Bye V-Squad.